Have you ever imagined having a superpower and using it to your advantage to crush your competitors? No, just me. Well, imagine it's 1920 and you're struggling in the shoe business. Your factory can only produce 12 shoes a day, but then bam, technology breaks through and gives you mechanical labor. Now you can make 1200 shoes a day and your competition can still only make 12. Or imagine it's 1998 and you have a small watch store in Vancouver selling two watches a day, but then bam, technology breaks through once again and gives you the internet, allowing you to reach 100 more customers and sell 200 watches a day. Or now, imagine Imagine it's 2023 and bam, technology breaks through. And now you have an unfair advantage that will literally make you superhuman. It's gonna increase your reach, your creativity, your productive output and your intelligence no matter what business you're in. Well, fortunately, that's exactly the opportunity that you're facing right now with the AI revolution. And in this video, we're gonna break down four awesome AI tools that are gonna make you superhuman and put you way ahead of your competitors. All I ask in return is you hit that like button down below, put on your AI hat, and let's jump in. So the first tool is an awesome one. It's called Rewind. I've personally started using Rewind and I'm already very impressed. I mean, imagine if you could increase your memory, not 2X, 5X, not even 100X, but to have perfect recall and immediately be able to access any memory from any experience you've ever had. Whether that be a picture you saw, a website you visited, or even something that somebody mentioned briefly to you on a Zoom meeting. Well, Rewind is the start of that limitless style superhuman ability because Rewind opens a new dimension of computing time. Its mission is to give humans perfect memory by outsourcing our memory storage. Because we all know that feeling of seeing something somewhere online maybe two weeks ago and having no idea how to go back and find it. Well, Rewind's going to record every single action that you make on your computer and allow you to search it. There are really no limits to the use cases of an app like this. Let me give you a really rudimentary example that I'm using Rewind for, which is making these videos. I usually spend hours researching, taking in thousands of different input. Then what I do is I distill them down into maybe five to 10 and make a video out of them. But once I script it and send it off the editor, we have to search for B-roll footage about the things that I talked about. And this makes me have to go over those thousands of original inputs to try and find the ones that I finally use. Now I can simply search for keywords through Rewind and have every single instance of the keyword appear in context on what app at exactly what time and be able to instantly access them and pull them into these videos. Pretty amazing which takes us on to the second tool, which is necessary if you're a content creator in any way. It's called Overdub by Descript. And essentially it's going to allow you to outsource your own voice, which most of the time in a content creating business is going to be the bottleneck. We can't post YouTube videos unless I'm sitting here in front of a camera using my voice and my likeness. Well, until now, Basically, you feed your AI program 30 minutes of your real voice, and the software will analyze the data and replicate your voice and allow you to turn any type text into a narrated MP3 that matches your tone, energy, and style of voice. Of course, you could feed it just 30 minutes of your own voice to get an approximate estimation of what you actually sound like, but if you're a content creator, you should have hours of content online you can download, turn into an MP3, upload, and have almost an exact match to your voice. And for myself, I sometimes make mistakes when making these videos, either leaving information out or saying something like the wrong number and my editor has to call me I have to go home re-record re-upload they have to download and then pull it into the actual video trying to make it sound like I recorded all in one go now with the Benji.ai voice protocol you can literally write anything that you want me to say and put a little bit of b-roll over it and you'll never know the difference or if you want to get really creative with this one and take it to the next level once you train your AI to be indistinguishable from your voice it could create an entire video without the need for you to record it into a microphone You'd make no mistakes, you'd have no camera shyness, and this tool will really unlock the ability for anyone to be able to be a creator. And if you follow Gary Vee and you hear him yelling about making 300 pieces of content that go out every single day, this is the first time that I could actually see that as being feasible. Of course, you don't want to sacrifice quality because the more quantity that's gonna be out there, the more quality is gonna win over the long term. So keep that in mind. But if you have an AI algorithm that you're coupling this with, that's gonna see what videos or content does the best and then bring that back to the AI that's actually making that content, well, the future's gonna be pretty crazy. And we're gonna be documenting it, of course, here. So make sure you do hit that subscribe button if for some reason you're not already subscribed. Now, the third awesome AI tool to make you superhuman is called Browse. And Browse.ai allows you to create and make software to monitor any information across the web, even if there isn't an API for it. And of course, that's removing this front end friction that most people are going to have by not needing you to write any code at all. And again, the use cases of an AI like this are really endless, but let me give you a couple of really cool examples. 
On this channel, we talk about disruptive technology that can empower you to build incredible businesses or make really lucrative investments. And an amazing loophole that we found in the crypto world was something called social arbitrage. Because although crypto is the future, right now it's entirely speculation. Like there's no reason why Vulcan Forge is at $166 million market cap or something like D-Race is at 16 million. What's the difference? Well, the difference is narrative. And the main factor that actually influences narrative are powerful crypto influencers who can move a market hundreds of millions of dollars with literally just one tweet. So let me break down exactly how this process happens and then how you'd use something like browse.ai to take advantage of it. Well, firstly, there's an undiscovered 100x gem of a project at a really low market cap. Secondly, you have crypto influencers like Alex Becker who stumble across it in their research. Thirdly, Alex Becker will buy the token himself at a low price. Fourthly, he'll eventually promote it to his millions of followers who are literally sitting there waiting to buy anything that he recommends. And fifth, the price skyrocket. Now, most of the mainstream fall trap to buying here at point number four. And inside our Patreon, we set up wallet trackers that allow you to buy at number three. So you get buy alerts whenever Alex Becker buys a project or a crypto so you can get in at the exact same price that he did. And this has had some pretty incredible results. Even if we look at Gary Vee's NFT history, it returned an average of 400% in the first month. But hear me out. What if there was a bot that we could set up with browse.ai that allowed us to tap into an even earlier stage? What if we could find these tokens as Alex Becker is researching him and get in even before he does? Well, now there is. Because about a year ago, I looked for a way that I could monitor whenever Alex Becker follows someone new on Twitter, because this is where he does most of his research and communication with small projects before he even invests. And there wasn't actually a solution at the time. But now with Browse.ai, you can monitor any changes that he makes to his following. And if getting ahead of the mainstream and using technology to take advantage of this opportunity and build some really awesome businesses, you should check out the link to our Patreon. I'll link it up in the description for you. Now, the fourth AI tool to make you superhuman is a fantastic one, but one that you probably could actually predict because I've been fascinated with this advent of AI that it hasn't taken away the low $5 an hour data entry jobs that you get on Upwork, but instead it's the ones where you hire a graphic design company and you pay $20,000 for a bunch of graphics that are getting replaced first. And that's why I'm excited to see Compose on that list because it is a repetitive task and a low level one that it's replacing, but one that most people spend hours and hours on every single week, which is email. Well, this is Compose, and it's a Google plugin that allows you to type twice as fast with autocomplete, rephrase sentences to sound more professional, reply with algorithmically generated responses, and even craft entire emails from simple prompts. Similar to Overdub, I would actually like to see Compose be able to take in old emails so it's gonna sound more and more like me over time, but hopefully that's something that's going to come in the future. And I also have a bonus for you, AI superhuman tool number five. Bet you didn't see this one coming, but I could not leave this one off the list because it is so incredible. This one is called Spreadsheet Assistant. And if you work with data or organization in spreadsheets in any way, you're probably only using about 5% of your capabilities. It's sort of like learning French in high school, knowing 5% of language, and then trying to be a competent individual living in Paris. You're not gonna do very well. But what if you could plug an AI tool in that instantly translates any one of your thoughts into French? Or in this case, what if you could have an AI tool that turns anything into your brain into the perfect spreadsheet? Because now within your Google Drive sheet, you can now ask questions and pull information into it as if you're using Google. You can have the answers automatically pulled and formatted into the columns and rows that you want. Then you can factual autofill based on your current data for any extra information you desire about the content. And then if you ever needed to create a formula but really can't figure out exactly how to code it, because I mean, where do you learn spreadsheet coding in the first place? Well, now you can just write it in in simple English and have the spreadsheet assistant transfer it to code for you and do all the work. If you like this video, hit subscribe.